Alrighty, boob tubes and ticket to talk land. So, strap yourself in. Three, was it three or four? I think it was three US troops killed in a drone suicide attack. How can a drone be a suicide attack if it's a fucking drone? Can robots commit suicide nowadays? Just saying. Anyway, three American soldiers dead. Now, <clears throat> uh, underneath here you can hear what Lindsey Graham, or as some Americans call him, Graham. Graham? Anywho, he's out calling for direct strikes on Tehran. Uh, target this is in Forbes. Uh, Republican senators call for retaliation after three troops killed by a ran bat strike. Don't even mention the name of these this Abdul army. I think it's Hezbollah or something. His, I think it's Hezbollah B, B team. I think these. <laughs> I think they if they they want to do such a good job that they'll get uh, put into the uh, Hezbollah A team <laughs> and nobody be a Barakas in it and just their their proper team. <laughs> inside Lebanon. Um, so, um, at least three American soldiers killed uh, another 25 service members. Uh, a strike that injured another 25. <clears throat> um, I think the strike was on quarters or something, I heard somebody say. That would make sense for the deaths and the injure, injured. Uh, First U.S. deaths in the Middle East uh, since the October 7th attack. What happened to the two um, Navy SEALs killed in the Gulf of Aden? Did they count? I mean, splitting hairs here, right? But the Gulf of Aden was like um, Houthis. And this is just Iran, 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 Iran. They're not even calling it the Hezbollah B team, or whatever it's called. Um, and then to show you this picture, and because this picture is in your mind, you're going to believe it. Look, this is Google fucking Earth. Anybody can do this shit, right? Now, they're calling this, they want to see something really interesting. Right, so you can see where that is. Well, maybe you can, right? It's right up in the corner of Jordan. Uh, there's uh, Iraq, Syria, and Jordan. Um, and the base is right up in this corner. There it's there. But they're calling that Tower 22. So... Now, just to show you, if you see that search bar up the top left, Tower 22, right, I'm just going to pop it back in, you won't see it, right. <laughs> Where do you think it's going to take you? Because the, the argument is whether this strike has happened in Jordan or Syria, because there was different reports. Uh, <clears throat> and the theory, one of the theories out there is they're saying it's Jordan, because if it was inside Syria, it's a, an illegal base. But, who knows, it's on Google Earth, it must be true. Oh no. No, don't do that. This trick isn't working anymore. Oh, there we go. Oh wow. Earlier on when I'd done it, it took me into fucking Damascus. See here, there's a place called Tower 22 in Damascus. Anyway, that didn't work. But, Lindsay, Lindsay Graham, can you remember the neocons? Anybody? Remember the neocons? Um, unarmed aerial drone struck American troops at Tower 22, a small outpost in Jordan near the country's border with Syria. 34 servicemen were being treated for possible traumatic brain injuries. <laughs> I'm laughing because of my joke. How do you tell? Um, Tower 22 
uh, is loco located uh, to the Al Tanif military base, located close to the Al Tanif military base in Syria. One or one of two U.S. bases attached attacked in the country on October twenty six, two thousand and thirty three, resulting in minor injuries for twenty one servicemen. Did they blame Iran? Or was Iran in the crosshairs back then? And like, correct me if I'm wrong, they're not welcome in Syria by the fucking leader of that country. So when you're occupying places, uh, the, the, are, are, the, are people not allowed to resist or some shit? I think it's in the US fucking, the UN uh, constitution or some shit that you're allowed to resist occupation. Still gathering information about the strike, but confirmed it was carried out by a radical Iran-backed militia group operating in Syria and Iraq in a statement released on Sunday. Biden called for the, the attacks despicable and wholly unjust, although dozens of US troops have been injured in attack on bases in the Middle East since the uh, October the 7th. Sunday marks the first time Americans have been killed in one of those assaults. They're splitting hairs, what about the two Navy SEALs? But <clears throat> this was Senator Lindsey Graham. Uh, he is a very well-known war hawk man. When anything happens, he's out there banging the drums. It looks like uh, the neocon strike back the New Republic. Um, remember, I even remember getting into a bloody in conspiracy land and all that, and it was all about the neocons and neocons and. Uh, the new American, the project for a new American century. Remember all that stuff? Remember? Remember, Berries? Now it's just praising Donald Trump, who's worse than any of these fucking lunatics. <laughs> um, so, Republican senators, I've only heard it come from Lindsey Graham, but I've not read this whole thing. I will do it later. A uh, call for return uh, target to Iran. Don't you just love it? And then, um, I mean, I mean, it goes without saying. Nobody wants this to happen. I don't want it to happen. Um, what am I looking for here? There's the five countries in seven years finishing off with Iran. Check out the other countries. Uh, Iraq's a dust bowl. Syria's all fucked up. They, they've been getting dragged into the current regional war. Lebanon's at war now with Israel. Israel airstriked fucking somewhere in Beirut, killing four Hezbollah mofos. Uh, Libya has been turned into a hellhole dust bowl. Uh, so everybody's trying to leave there, come onto the Med and come into Europe. That's a lot of brown people in boats. Uh, Somalia and Sudan are at war right now. Uh, with a couple of people, if it isn't with each other. <laughs> and then to finish off, Iran. Yay, baby. Can you see what it is yet? Um, and... Will the UK and US strike Iran? The Houthis up their attacks. Their attacks haven't stopped. They're unable to stop them. They cannot go in on the ground. I seen a fucking report the other day about UK ship downs drone. Aye, that's all it can do. It can't hit any boats because we've got no fucking ship. TTC, I think you would call it. Capabilities, I do believe. Just because of the ship. The ship or ships, I think we've got there. So they were trying to show off a fucking victory, shooting down a fucking drone. Probably a guy with a slingshot. <laughs> um, so, stay tuned, man. This is getting very interesting. Let's see what happens. Get it? Got it. Good. Get cheese, no cats. Or cheese were used in this filming. Or Abdul's. Keeps clips.
And remember, citizens, always subscribe. Hit the notification bell as well. And 9095 plus shipping and handling will keep you out of hell.